As you approach the cave, you smell fresh blood but find no signs of life. Having entered the cave, you and your companions find the remains of a brutal fight. The carcass of an adult unicorn lies alongside her offspring. Two of them appear to have been ambushed in what was supposed to be a safe haven. On closer inspection, it looks as though the animals were viciously attacked by a wild, dire penguin. <laughs> I'm glad they didn't forget to include a dire fucking penguin in the game. I think this, I think this has been a case since at least Shadow Magic. We freeze when an ear-piercing shriek resounds through the cave, and the same bloodthirsty dire penguin emerges from the dark, its rabid eyes fixed on you. On Carissa, what's she gonna say? What's a glutton's greatest fear? That they themselves are consumed. Wouldn't the glutton's greatest fear would be to just run out of food? I feel, I feel like that would... I can see like the, ooh, irony... Uh, I was gonna say irony slash ironic, but didn't figure out which... Anyway, I can see the ironic factor of like, oh, you want to... Eat eat people, but in the end you shall be eaten. And not in a fun way. But, I don't know, I just feel like the logical answer to Glutton's greatest fear would be starving. Artica. Or the Frostlings. I remember Artica from the previous game. Still, they don't seem to really matter, like, which one I take. Sure, there's, like, slight differences in... Basically, the amount of stat differences, like, minuscule ones, the... I'm not getting at all the vibe I had from previous games of there actually being distinct races. This is, uh... Like, you're just... Choosing... Traits... For how you're gonna play. Which is kind of boring. For even your own soldiers. I will talk to you through visions like these. Follow my advice and you will claim victory. Wait, so... <clears throat> I am the Shadrai... Emissary now. See, this is the problem with letting me play whoever the fuck in each mission. I was fighting against the Shadra, I was the same leader two missions ago. And now I'm with the Shadra, because uh, who cares about having a coherent story campaign? Yes. Ugh. Currently share fixed relations with Marauder Guard. I can therefore not declare war to attack them. What? Marauder Guard? That who that's who owns this hut or something? And that's why I couldn't stand there? What do you mean? The, my vassals own this hut. What Marauder Guard? What is this bullshit? I mean, I know what it is, it's a bug. The I forgot to finish their game is what it is. I don't know if I... Okay, I'll send these guys towards the throne just in case, but honestly, I don't think I need to do, like, anything else here. Like, the mission is over, this is just gonna be hitting next turn, next turn, next turn, until the stupid siege is done. It's I can see what they were going for with the siege mechanic, but all it does is prolong the end part of the mission. Which is where you're just going through the motions for it to be done. Sure. Fourteen turns to seize this place. And it has three full stacks. God damn it. Oh, look who respawned and is trying to fight. That is acceptable. Kier Uranon is fucked again. Oh, and look, nobody is sitting in Dominus right now because everyone marched out. Seven turns until breach. Well, the fucker is going to respawn by then, but... 
Yeah. Yeah, meanwhile he respawned. <laughs> because he can't force an assault on an empty fucking city anymore. Like, have 18 troops sitting around the city that's basically undefended. Like, it was undefended for a moment. And I just have to sit in the fucking siege for like nine turns. That's... That wasn't a good idea. Like, taking... Making it a bit harder to take cities seemed like a good idea at the start, but... Uh, yeah, nah, it's just... At this point, this is just the uh, spamming and turn and having to kill the dude like three times over. That's not, in, not an improvement over the previous system. Some would consider your course of action deeply and wise, especially if you want to avoid vexing me. Melanie's Lefless has a personal dislike for your actions of empires that trade. What the fuck is this? She just kinda doesn't like me and now she's like I consider it deeply unwise for you to trade. I mean minus ten is nothing, but it's just kind of funny. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. Chill. Hmm Melanus wants a teleporter packed. Yeah, I thought Melanis was against trading, and now here I just accepted her trade proposal. What what gives? Great news! Now that we have the tranquility pool, I've built the golems. These iron golems can defend your borders now. I can once again embark on journeys of conquest and exploration in your name, liberated from concern and hesitation. Produces a gilded shield. My eldest son took the leftover tranquility pool and made this in the smithy where he apprentices. Please accept this gift from my family to you. <laughs> I, I'm guessing this is a, like a generated quest where it takes some kind of resource and then uses it to create some kind of unit and an item. But it's just funny that Tranquility Pool, which seems to be like a pool of water or something, is used to create iron golems and with what's left of the pool, we made a shield. Adorable. Yeah. Wow. Ugly ass undead angels or something. See a moon bone. We on Mar. Major transformation angel eyes. I guess they're mighty orc. Yeah, those are orc angels. <laughs> I mean, some of the combinations that uh, you can find in this game are pretty funny. Parland's Savinium has been captured. Oh, captured. Grant freedom. How would I... Where can I execute him? Why is this the best I can do? Like, the only thing I can do, just... Set him free. Why would I do that? If if uh, if he was dead, I could sell his remains. I, I want him to be dead so I could sell his remains. <laughs> no other reason. I guess I can convert him or whatever, but who who needs that? Everybody leveled up. Somebody withdrew. Captured more civilians. <laughs> I literally have their whole bloodline sitting in my prison. Like six of them. And a couple of moonborns as well now. Glorious. Well, let's see. I might have to load if they, they actually do all charge at me and kill all my best units. He's attacking with one stack. Look, there's a billion units around, and he's sending one party. Make it make sense. Oh, look at that. Uh, even even the auto-resolve killed them all with no losses. Well, if that's how he's gonna do it, then yeah, then I will take the city in a few turns. 
All right, now he's attacking. <laughs> Next move, he's attacking with two stacks, but like not really. It's just seven units. Yeah, okay, last one's skirmisher. I don't need the fucking skirmishers. They're early game units. So yeah, that <laughs> what the fuck was that? So yeah, now I'm gonna be frostlings, but with flaming weapons. Uh, but I think some of my weapons are also freezing. What do I currently have active? Yeah, I have frost blades and flame burst weapons. They stack. Don't ask how. <laughs> they just do. It's magic, okay? Yes, we got uh, hot and cold. If only those AIs were actually doing something. Well, it feels like they're just shuffling around. At least they're never achieving anything. And like, I can understand if they are here to just, I don't know, give the impression of the epic battle and they're like shackled so they never actually defeat each other. And I get to do all the, the winning, which I think it's a bit lame to make it that way, but it's understandable. What What's not understandable in that case is why do they still think so long? Just have them like shuffle along pretending to play. Don't do all the, I don't know, super deep search for the best move or whatever it is that they're doing. I made this point before when playing uh, Planetfall, but, like, really... The, it, it was faster to figure out these turns on a fucking Duron 750 megahertz processor or something with, like, 96 megabytes of RAM, which is what I played uh, Shadow Magic on than it is now on my however many fucking core beast of a PC. And I see no reason why that should be that way. The AI has not gotten significantly better. I should have timed at least one of these. Just to see how long it really is. <sighs> You guys, th they thought they made some kind of epic scenario with a billion leaders striving for control, and instead I have these four stooges that are accomplishing nothing but wasting my time as my allies, and four enemies who, I don't know, I don't think I've ever been really attacked, other than by my immediate neighbors that I immediately beat into submission. None of this justifies the insane time spent just waiting on each turn. Like, it's... It's beyond ridiculous at this point. It's It's been a minute. And we're only, like, halfway. I feel like... I feel like all their resources for the next game, if they ever make one, or some expansion pack, should be poured into making the turns faster and or the AI better. Basically that, that the AI making moves is what they should be improving. Okay, the t turn ended. It's two minutes and eight seconds. That's how long this turn took. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Three hours later. Oh, he moved. Oh, look. Turn. Okay, my finger is ready to stop the timer. There. 12 minutes and 15 seconds. <laughs> 